U.S. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill are heading to Hawaii Monday to survey the devastation from the deadly wildfires that destroyed much of Lahaina and killed more than 100 people. But tonight we're getting a first look at video believed to show the initial sparks that led to the disaster. CTV's Adrian Gobriel reports. The road through Lahaina has reopened, though the path forward for this decimated town remains a heartbreaking journey. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. This is apocalyptic. It's, it's terrible. With President Joe Biden set to arrive in Maui on Monday, FEMA confirming today that cadaver dogs on the ground are struggling in the heat and hazardous terrain to locate those who perished in the flames. Which is why we are sending in additional dogs. This is live right across the street from my house. Multiple new videos show that downed power lines may have sparked the whole tragedy. Freaking power line just went down. Shane True walked out of his Lahaina home at dawn last week, just as a wooden pole snapped, igniting the brush in a flash. Like somebody lit a fuse for a fire and it just followed a straight line. With a garden hose in hand, True says construction companies brought their water tankers to assist. We thought it was all contained. And then from there, just went ahead about our day, thinking that it was all done. The soon to be inferno was far from over. The security video shows the flash of a down power line inland from Lahaina. At least three class action lawsuits have been filed against Hawaiian Electric, alleging that if they de-electrified the system, it would have saved lives. The weight of this tragedy is still growing as we learn how some died. Franklin Trejos was found in his car, draped over his golden retriever, Sam. She was just saying she couldn't breathe. She couldn't breathe. On a family vacation, T. Dang thought her daughter may have succumbed to the smoke. We kept shaking her. We kept telling, call, I'm calling her name, calling her name. Unable to swim, the family of five were forced from their burning car and into the ocean. They all survived after spending four hours in the choppy Pacific waters. Hawaiian people, like, they gave us hope. Like, they... They saved us. Like, without them, we would not be alive. The state's utility company says it's still investigating the cause of the fire, as are the FBI and the Attorney General. Adrian Gobriel, CTV News, Toronto.